Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna share a Timu haul. I hope that you guys enjoy today's video. I will have a variety of things here. I am a junk journaler, but these items you can definitely use in different areas of life. It doesn't just have to be for junk journaling. Um, if you are a paper crafter, if you like to celebrate holidays, if you like um, doing things in the kitchen, um, what else do I have here? I have different types of charms and stuff like that. So there is a variety of things in here and I think that's all, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. So I'm just going to flip you guys around and share what I got from the Tino. first thing I wanted to share with you is this pack of doilies. Now these are more like doily placemats. So I thought that these were really pretty. There's so many in a pack. 140 sheets. I want to say that this was like maybe four or five dollars, but look at how pretty these are. You can definitely use them for placemats. I mean, they are a little small for placemats, but you can do it for crafting. You can use them for a tablescape. Look how pretty that is though. I just love it. So with junk journaling, you can use it as part of a signature piece. You can cut this out, rip this out, use it for different types of ephemera or borders. You can cut out the center and just use this for something. I just thought that there were so many different uses with this. You could tea dye, coffee dye, color dye. I mean, look at that, you guys, 140 pieces. This will last forever. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to start doing the kits if you guys have been on my channel is because with all the things that I haul, there's just no way that I'm going to be able to use all of these on my own. So instead of being wasteful and just collecting so much and just not being able to use them, I thought to myself that it would be kind of cool to be able to put these kits together. And so you guys can actually junk journal with all the things, but you don't have to buy such a huge quantity. You know what I mean? I have a little garbage over there, so. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to share are these, which are super cute. I always try thinking outside the box when I am on Timu and just thinking of different types of paper items that we can get. Um, these are little seed envelopes and I just thought that they were so cute. They are not too thick, which I actually like because the thicker the item, it's harder to, to junk journal. I mean, it's not harder. It just makes your book a lot bigger. So I just thought that these were really nice. It does come with a pretty good amount. Um, I will have the information here on the screen so that you guys can see it, but look at how cute that is seed name, seed variety, date collected, and growing notes. And you definitely can use these to write other things in them. You don't have to write that. Um, you can put something in this. You can use it as a pocket. You could write on the back of this here and keep things inside. I just thought that that was so cute. You could put them in a tuck spot. I just love these, so I got these. But again, that's why I was saying at the beginning of the video that some of these items you can definitely use if you are not a junk journaler. So another thing that I picked up are these really cute cupcake wrappers. They did have different choices, so many to use. Like that is crazy. But I thought that these would be perfect for my Valentine's Day junk journal or my junk journal kits for Valentine's Day. But these would also be really pretty for like a wedding, an anniversary junk journal. Um, I mean, honestly, anything. It doesn't even have to be for those specific um, events. There's still some in here that I have to poke out, but look at how pretty that is. And it does kind of have like, it looks matte, but it does have like a shimmer to it when you look in the light. I don't think you guys can see it, but maybe you can. But I thought that those were really nice. I also went ahead and found this. Oh, I haven't even opened it. I wanted to save some of the stuff. Some of the stuff I do kind of look through. Um, before I get started, because if I want to do a return. Um, but these are little like sandwich wraps or they're called oil proof paper bags. They came with 50 and look at how cute that is. I mean, it kind of has like a vintage look, but not, 
like the vintage as in the paper color. <laughs> All of this does not look vintage, but look how cute these are. So I want to do a junk journal. You guys have probably heard it over and over again, but I want to do a junk journal with all of my family's recipes in it to give to my kids. And um, so I've been trying to collect all kinds of stuff for like food related items for a junk journal, like a uh, food recipe book, or I don't know how to explain it, but you're not going to journal in it. It's just going to be filled with different recipes. And so that's what I've been collecting. So you'll see a lot of that type of stuff here. But again, that's something that I'm planning on putting up when I do start selling, um, if you guys are interested in that. I also went ahead and picked up this set of keys. You guys, these are actually really nice. Really, really nice quality. This says Dream. Here, I'll lay them out. I love how that has like a green washed look or rubbed looks really pretty but the quality is really nice and i love that they're hearts so again this i'll probably be putting in my valentine's day packs um oh my gosh look at how cute that is it's like a crown that'd be really cute in like a wedding one and it has a heart on it as well this is like a old school it like really reminds me of a skeleton key but look at how cute those are. So this, how many is that? 10, I think. Three, five, yeah, 10, 10 keys. All right, another thing I picked up for the Valentine's Day junk journals. Are these now it's supposed to be a garland it comes with the twine and it comes with the little needle to help weave it through but it's supposed to be a garland uh oh but I would not use it as garland I would just use it in my junk journal oh my gosh these look so vintage I love it uh oh you guys I'm completely out of frame <laughs> I'm sorry I may have to zoom out on the camera so you guys can see, but these are absolutely adorable. They remind me of what would have been on cards. How cute is that? Do you guys see all of those? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, and also this one. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see better. Oops, that's zooming in. There we go. Okay, now I could get more on here for you guys to see. How adorable are those? Those are probably my favorite so far. I love like how things look vintage like that. Another thing that I picked up, this is like an index type Rolodex. What is this called? Oh, they're kind of bent right there. Um, but these just have the alphabet, like to put it in order, you know, the old number cards. But I was thinking that these could be used, ah! I was thinking that these could be used in a junk journal for the uh, recipe. You know, I thought that that would be kind of cool to just add in there. Maybe you're doing poultry or something, or you're doing pies or desserts, and you can use the actual letter card for that specific section. That would be cute. Could like go inside a pocket, but hang outside so you can see the A. Does that make sense? If you're a junk journal, you probably understand what I'm saying, but I thought that those were kind of cool. Another thing I grabbed is just this cheesecloth. This is really cool to just rip up and tea dye and use. Just came with one. I just wanted to play around with it. Again, this would be really cute as um, something in the junk journal. Kind of big though. I wish I could get them and they were smaller, like this size, or even like that size, and I could use it as an actual pocket. But they do sell cheesecloth on Timu if you need it in the kitchen. Another thing I picked up, now I picked up a different pack of these and they were kind of different colored metals. What is that? What does that even mean? I don't know, that looks, I don't know what that means. I don't really like that one. Um, I probably won't use that one. I'll probably just throw that away because I'm not quite sure. 
it looks a little different to me. If you guys know what that means, let me know. Because I don't have any idea, but it looks weird. Um, I'm not trying to be offensive. If that offends anybody, I'm sorry. Because I honestly don't know what that is. Um, but look at how cute all of these little, what are they calling these? Um, I forget what they call these. Gears. They call them gears. But they have all different sizes, different styles. And um, they do have different packs that you can get. But I just thought that these would be a really nice. Um, embellishment for a page so another thing I picked up is this embossing plate I thought that this one looked pretty it's like a framed leaf I don't know do you guys see it I wonder can you guys see that better just thought that looked kind of cool pretty you can always emboss the paper and then have something put on the inside of it like that oval shape like a photo or somewhere to journal that would look really nice so I went ahead and grabbed this one and I also picked up this embossing plate Let's see they're like floral it's like a floral base with butterflies they kind of look like sunflowers or daisies maybe that pretty so I grabbed that I also saw these really cute hearts these are like little ornaments that's why they give you the strings here to hang but they have I wish that it was like a variety of different designs on them but these are super cute to do as tags embellishments um, you can add them to bookmarks and you could just add them to pages. Aren't those really cute? I wonder if we could attach two together. Oh, well, they're kind of shaped wrong. I was going to say, I wonder if we could like washi one side to where it can be opened and you could write in there. That'd be kind of cute. But I picked up this pack. It comes with quite a bit. Let's see how many. It doesn't say, but there is a lot here. I'm not good with guessing numbers. I've done it before. <laughs> I think I failed terribly. Um, but aren't these pretty? Very pretty. Okay. I went ahead. I had this in my cart for a while and I kind of kept putting it off because it was a little expensive. Not expensive, but it was a little expensive for me. I'm a very, like, I'm a bargain shopper, you guys. But these are different postcards. Let me see if I could open it. I love this. I'll be using this in my junk journal for sure. So we have, I'm gonna try, let me, let me zoom out. There are some of them. And I'm just gonna stack these on top so that you guys can see them. I love how they have like the touch of color in the postcards. I think that that is a really nice touch. Aren't those so cool? The taxi's yellow, the car is blue. I think that that's really cool. I kind of wish they did that on all of them, but I really like this. Look at the guys up there that were working on the either skyscraper or bridge or something. Looks like a skyscraper because you don't see water underneath. I don't know. That looks really cool though. Then this is what the back looks like. Okay, 
So I'm noticing, I don't know if my camera died um, when I was explaining that I got this pack. This is gonna be for my um, recipe junk journal. But I got this pack, it's pretty big. All right, so here are some of them. There's a lot more, but I'm noticing that there are duplicates in this stack that I see here already. So I just wanted to share what they look like. The material is kind of like an old school newspaper. That's what I kind of find it, it kind of feels like. Maybe a little bit thicker, um, but that's the feeling the front gives me. But these are super cute. I cannot wait to use these in my little food junk journal for the kids, or the recipe junk journal, I should call it. Now this one is Christmas, but I could not pass up on these. Look how adorable these are. You get four of each. Let me just lay them out so you can see them. That reflection from the light hits it kind of hard. Oh my gosh, this one has to be, well, okay, I love this one too of the gingerbread, but look at how cute this little globe is. And it's on the blue, which I really like. But what it is, is it's like a little folding card like that. It's like a placemat. What? Not a placemat, like a, like a place setting. It goes like in front of a place setting maybe? I don't know you guys, what is this used for? but I think it's adorable. I would stick it inside of a pocket and then when I pull it out, I would be able to journal in it. That would be super adorable. You could even have it sideways in one, but I think having it upright would be really cute. But we have this one, this one, and he pops out just like that. Isn't that cute? We have the trees. Uh oh, there's quite a few pushed. That must have bent. Look how cute the little, is that a bunny? Super cute. We have Santa here. And then we have this Christmas tree with like a little bear. I thought that these were really cute. Those would be so cute in a junk journal. But this is what I'm talking about, about how many you get and not being able to use them all. So I think it'd be really cool if all of us like started junk journaling with similar things, you know? I don't know, I think that that would be really fun. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed this. It's a retro uh, series, Sticky Notes. PJ Notes, See the Flowers Whispering is, I guess, the type? I'm not sure, and it has like radiogram in it. Maybe those are the three different things. Here's the radiogram. And these are not post-its, because they don't have anything sticky on it. Here is the government service meal check. Here is the PJ Notes, which is the druggist and apothecary. And I think that's, yeah, that's it. So I thought that those would be kind of cool to put in a junk journal. I also went ahead and picked up this die cut. Now this is going to be for a pocket and I wanted to play around with, or maybe this isn't, is this an envelope or a pocket? I think it's a pocket. I don't remember. You'll see right here, it'll show up right here. I'm still a beginner at this, so I'm trying to collect more of these because I do have the big shot and I wanna play around with this for like a good week or so and just try different things. I've been trying to collect some more die cuts and some more embossing folders. That way I can, um, I can do it and like learn how to do it. I also went ahead and grabbed this. This is a library card, a British library card. I thought that these were really cute. So they are all the same, but look how, I mean, they give you a huge little pack here, a huge little pack. That did not make sense whatsoever, but <laughs> I meant like it's, it has a lot, but it's little <laughs> and it came in a pack. <laughs> 
It just sounded weird. Anyways, so I got this. I thought that this was really cute. This um, can rip off here. So once you write in your journal, you can rip it and stick it somewhere else. You could use this as a tag, whatever you guys want. I also went ahead and picked up this pack of Christmas paper. I thought that this was really nice because it came with paper and envelopes, twine, and little charms. Oh, and stickers. But these are the stickers that it came with. And it came with different, oh my gosh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know where that one went. I'll have to look for it. But these are the different papers. So we have Santa. Do we have two of each? We have this one here. This one. How cute is that little snowman dragging the tree on a sled? <laughs> that is cute. penguins oh look at him on his belly oh my gosh that's adorable so it came with those and then it came with these envelopes let me move the paper and this kind of messy isn't it we'll put these there came with those Again, it came with twine and it came with these little charms. So I think it came with three snowflakes and three trees and it is like a bronze color. Um, I think I dropped one of the charms, the snowflakes on the ground, but that is this pack. I also went ahead and picked up this pack of recipe cards. I did not realize that these were going to be glossy. I'm just now noticing that and I'm not very happy about it. I thought that they were going to be like paper, you know what I mean, matte paper, but they are shiny. Um, you can still use them. You can use like a ballpoint pen or maybe one of the skinny Sharpies. I do really like the color and I like how they have you know, it written up for you to put your ingredients on here. Um, and then it just says homemade, homemade, homemade all over cut off on the back. I think that that's really cute. I do kind of wish that these were a matte material just because I think it gives it more of a vintage look, but I'll still use these in my, um, in my recipe junk journal. I think that they're cute. Here is another pack of the recipe cards. I thought that these were really cute with the different canisters and jars. Kind of gives you like that old school feel, the vintage look. I do like the way that it says chef because say this was like my mom's recipe, I could put her name here just so that as it gets passed on, we know whose recipe it was um, or if it was my grandmother's or my husband's mom's. Um, yeah, I thought that that was kind of cool, especially because we are using family recipes. So if I have something my sister has told me about and I started making or my dad or something like that, I can put it in here. So I think that that's really cool. So again, I found these recipe cards super cute. I really like these ones as well. These are like the first ones that I shared that are glossy. These are on a glossier finish. I think I'm gonna use like a um, soft sander and like sand the top of this a little bit just to kind of give it like an older look, even though I will, I mean, you're still gonna see that it is glossy, but I'm gonna see if that helps a little bit. But I just thought this was so cute with the wooden um, hanging cutting boards. I just think it's nice. And I really like that there's a good size section for directions because I find that my um, recipes have pretty large instructions or maybe maybe it's just me that like make them lengthy I also went ahead and picked up this pack here these are stickers 
These I really think are cute because they're on like a clear backing, which I really like. But these are just little desserts that this would be really fun for the dessert section in the junk journal. Aren't those really cute? All right, so I got this set of stickers for my junk journal for the recipes as well. And this says paper more stickers. Um, I thought that these were just really cute with the different types of ingredients, but you get two sheets for each um, for each design. So I thought that that was really fun. So I went ahead and got this one. I also picked up this pack here, which is kind of similar. It is not by the same company, I don't think. This only comes with two pieces. I should have paid attention to that because I did not. Um, but look at how cute those are as well. I mean, that kind of reminds me of, what is that? maybe like pancakes or something. I don't know, but I just thought that this was so cute. The Swiss cheese, that looks like bread. We have a chocolate bar. Those look like cookies or macaroons or something, maybe cookies. I just thought that that was really cute. I also went ahead and picked up this little card set. I thought this would be perfect for journaling. Look how pretty that little reindeer is. Oh, these are all reindeer. For some reason, I thought that they were different, but look at how pretty that is. Super pretty. And it is on like a card stock, like a thick card stock, maybe like a business card, it feels like. Um, and it's just really pretty. So this is perfect for journaling on. Use it as like a journaling card. Another thing I went ahead and picked up are these hearts with crosses. They are charms. I want to use these on my embellishments on my book. But look how pretty these are. And they're silver. Let me zoom in. Isn't that pretty though? Comes with all of these. This one has a little bit of marking on it. I don't know if I could get that off if it's scratched or not. But look how pretty those are. So I got these for my prayer journals. That's another one I can also put out if people are interested in a prayer journal. Let me zoom back out so that we're not too close. This is another set of stickers that I picked up. These are food. They do have the white backing. Here, I'm gonna zoom out further all right so this is the pack of stickers i don't think that these are my favorite the quality isn't great the color isn't great there are a few that i really do like that i think that i will use even this the whisk i think that that's really cute the eggs even the butter um, but for the most part i would definitely not purchase these again um, which is crazy to say because i absolutely love timu stickers so I'm surprised that I actually came across a pack that I'm not really fond of, but I will definitely use some of these because I think some of them will look really good. All right, you guys, only a few more. This is another set of food stickers. I think I was hungry when I was, <laughs> when I was going through the food section of Timu. But I went ahead and got more of these clear backing stickers, which I really do love. I love that they're clear backing because whatever you put them on, they're going to look really nice. So, because you won't really be able to see the sticker part of it. But I thought that these were kind of cool. So I went ahead and got these. So that came in this pack. It comes with 20. Another thing I grabbed, yes, you guys, more Christmas stuff. Um, so I went ahead and picked up these tags. I thought that these were really cute. Are they all the same? They kind of just punch out. Yes, they're all the same. And I got one, two, three, four, five sheets of 10. So we have 50 tags here, 
but look I love how vintage these look they are on a thick card stock so you can poke out these holes and then you can use the twine that they gave you or a twine of your own you can use your own ribbon or material of your choosing but I thought that those were really cute and then the last few things that I want to share are these little packs of Christmas paper they are really small but they were so cute. Let me open them up and I'll share them with you. So I love these because they have the, like the gold foiling on them and these are perfect to make your own little ephemera and you can use them just to kind of build on, but these are so cute. They look vintage and I just, I love them. Like look how cute that is. I also picked up this one and you guys, you know what else? I'm going to use this cover because it's acetate and look how cute that is. So this is the next pack. I really just think this paper is so pretty. Ribbon candy, oh my gosh, my dad loves ribbon candy. Look how cute these all are. I hope you guys could see them, but it's a pretty good little booklet here. Looks like this. I love the vintage look. I love the foiling, just the colors, the way they designed them. It just gives me like that old school feel. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> the snowman is like wrinkly. Do you see that? He's like wrinkly. Um, look how cute that one is. I really like these. And then the last one, is it the same as the other one? Did I get two of the same? Sometimes I accidentally get two of the same. No, wait, no, they're all different. So we have this one here. Oh, that one's really cute. So is that. I really love these. I say that one's cute, that one's cute. I think all of them are cute. Look at the colors though, look at that, oh my gosh. I wish they had some of these like a little bit bigger, maybe like a four by six, that would be really cool. But they have a good amount and I think all of them are different. I think, oh, look at that one. That, oh my, I wish that more of them had this blue color in it. That just is so pretty. Do they have any with blue in them? That one, oh my gosh, look at that one. Okay, I'm excited for these packs. So I think that these, I think that these are absolutely adorable you guys i literally have to figure out a way to organize i had everything really organized well and then just my obsession with <laughs> collect collecting my crafting has gotten a little out of control so i really need to figure out ways to um, organize everything i've watched people do those ephemera books and stuff and those look great but i think it's just going to take me more time to do them and i think that they'll fill up really fast so to like leave these in the little booklets i think are perfect so i just need to find little containers that i can just line them up in and i want to do it like Christmas stuff in one drawer, Valentine stuff in one drawer, Bible or biblical Christian stuff in one drawer, floral or, you know, like insects or butterflies and dragonflies and stuff like that. So I would love to have everything in one specific drawer or cubby or something. So I'm talking like all paper, big paper, small paper, stickers, 
maybe sayings or catalogs, magazines, patterns. I'm talking all of it. I wish that I just had the space to do that. So let me know what you guys do for your organization. If you guys have seen a video maybe of someone's junk journaling organization in their room, let me know what channel and what video. Maybe link the video for All right, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you guys saw some things here that you guys liked. Again, keep your eyes out. I know I've been talking about my kits and you guys are probably so tired of hearing about it, but they will be out soon. Um, I will definitely let you guys know when I get those up and running. Again, just trying to get my collection going. More items, I'm trying to organize everything so I can lay everything out and see exactly what kits I can do. I will kind of give you guys a preview of an idea of what I will have in these kits, but they're not going to be specific to every single kit. I will be changing some things up um, when I am doing um, the theme, so if that makes sense. But you guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope that you guys are enjoying my channel here. You know, I do Dollar Tree hauls, I do Dollar General hauls, thrift hauls. Um, I do walkthroughs and I am doing junk journaling. So you will see a lot of items that I haul will be for junk journaling and you are gonna see some junk journaling videos here. If, if that's not your cup of tea or Dollar Tree hauls aren't your cup of tea, you know, you can definitely just stay here on my channel for the things that you like. Just make sure that you guys hit your notification bell. That way you're alerted anytime I have a new upload. And from that point, you can pick and choose what you guys want to see. But again, I hope you guys are enjoying. Be sure to hit that like button. It really helps my channel. And if you leave me a comment, I always love to hear from you. And I always try to get back to you guys. So Thanks again for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. So be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.